Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our Jaspies 8-box Bowman Baseball Mixer. We can chase, what, $17,000 cards? We got 17 Bowman Draft, 19 Bowman Baseball, 15 Chrome, 15 Bowman Chrome, 18 Best, 18 Chrome Hobby Edition, 17 Best, 19 Sterling, and 15 Inception. Man, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I think like some of these rookie cards right here could go for a huge amount, get them graded, and then cash in. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Now, there was an early bird special. If you buy one of the first 16 spots, those 16 spots will get randomized right there, 1 through 16. And someone has a chance to be the early bird who catches the worm after 4 and a 2, 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and sixth and final time, name on top is going to be Bradley. After six times, four and a two, you are the early bird that catches the worm, which is an extra spot in this break. That's a really good value, an excellent value right there. Now, let's grab everybody's names from one down, one through 30. All 30 baseball teams are in on this break. And let's randomize that list. Six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. We've got Randy Ramos all the way down to Ron Shepard. Let's go to the team list tab right here. All right, King D, I'll see you, man. Six and a one, seven times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven, the final time. There's seven, right? Yeah. After seven times, we've got my Dodgers all the way down to the Marlins. All right, Randy Ramos, you've got my Dodgers. Dave Martinez. Wait, Dave Martinez, why are you in our group breaks? Shouldn't you be coaching a baseball game tonight against the Astros? I don't know why Dave Martinez is in our group breaks right now. He should be getting his team ready for the game, for game six. Ron Shepard with the Nats. Evan with the Brew Crew. Bradley with your early bird spot, the Rays. Tommy with the O's. Darren with the Yankees. Aaron with the Reds. Tony with the A's. Levi with the Twins. Peter with the Indians. Roger, you got the White Sox. Kenny with the Mariners, Evan with the Rangers, Aaron, you've got the Cubs and the Cardinals, Evan with the Braves, Jordan with the Red Sox, Brian, last spot, Mojo, Pirates, Kevin Rock with the Blue Jays, Barry with the Diamondbacks, Levi with the Indians, Bradley with the Mets, Scott with the Rockies, Brian with the Tigers, Evan with the Padres, John with the Phillies, Stacy with the Royals, Charles with the Halos, and Ron Shepard with the Miami Marlins, the Fish. All right, let me sort by, alphabetize by team right here. And I'm going to pause the video. And we're going to wait, see if there's any trade. We'll give it a few moments for trades. What's up, Mojo Jojo? White Sox are up for trade. So when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break, so stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but at the end of the day, no trades were done. Here is the final printout right here. Tuesday the 29th, Jaspie's 8-box Bowman Baseball Mixer, random team number one. Thanks, everyone, for getting your spots in this. And good luck to everybody. So let's go. Let's start with the oldest box first. The oldest box that we have is 2015 right here. Jock Peterson on the box, 2015 Bowman Chrome Hobby Edition. In this one, you can chase uh, you can chase Cody Bellinger Chrome cards. Yeah, Bowman first, which would be pretty cool. I've heard of him. He's all right. <laughs>
All right, well, let's 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 hear everyone's opinions. Who does everyone have tonight to win? Game six of the World Series tonight. Nationals dropped all three of their home. The home team has not won a game yet. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Nationals took the first two in Houston. Then the Astros stormed back for the next three. And now they're back in Houston. Steven Strasburg on the mound for the Nationals. And um, Justin Verlander looking for his first World Series win on the mound for Houston. Max Scherzer had was scratched from a start the other night, which is very worrisome and unlikely to go in Game 7 as well, which is also worrisome. That's the buzz, I think. Noah says, Game 7 tomorrow, Nats win tonight. Okay. Alexander's going to see Alexander's going to go with Mattress Mac. Nancy says, Astros tonight, no game tomorrow. And Nancy says the baseball season ends tonight. Noah's predicting Soto hitting a homer and a double, five RBIs. Set your DraftKings lineups, ladies and gentlemen. Sean's going with Verlander's first World Series win. Eastwood thinks the game will be decided in the first inning. Oh, Scherzer is starting tomorrow? Oh, I guess I guess that neck is okay. I wonder how effective he'll be tomorrow, though. That's the that's the concern. All right, start off with Preston Tucker, 28 out of 99. And Steven Matz, mini for the Mets. Jimmy says Rendon will be the hero tonight, so he's thinking Nationals. Whoa. Jason Jasby thinking LAFC tonight against. Who are they playing tonight? Sounders. Oh, I don't like the Sounders. Is he really? Hmm. And J.D. Davis for the Astros is your first autograph. And that will be for Dave Martinez, manager Dave Martinez with the Strohs. Out of 150 on that one. There's Nick Gordon. No, this is just a little advertisement. Got a little die cut right there, Brandon Finnegan. Nancy says, J.D. Davis, that's your sign right there. Yeah, we should see, like, if there's the winner of the game tonight, ladies and gentlemen, will be, will be Astros hits versus Nationals hits. And your second autograph is going to be, whoa, a Nationals hit. <laughs> There's Austin Voth. So we're tied. 1-1. One, one. Interesting. All right, so the Nationals are on the road. Astros are at home. They're over there. We'll keep track. There's Corey Seager. And there you go. That's your first box. All right, the next year, so we went, we did 2015, we got one more 2015, that's Bowman Inception, right over here, 2015 Bowman Inception Baseball, this is Aaron Judge, Chris Bryant possibilities, and more. Ooh, we got a redemption on the bottom. What does that mean? 
Redemption on the bottom. Let's use this blank card right here to slow play the hits. <clears throat> we got Christian Walker for the Orioles. That'll be for Tommy. Let's see if I do have top loaders for these here. I think so. We got Tyler Beatty for the Giants. 11 out of 150 going to Levi in San Francisco. We got Braden Shipley. Astros. Astros. Arizona. I just saw letter A and just automatically went Astros. Arizona. Barry. Then we got Sean Coyle for the Red Sox, 35 out of 150. Uh, that's for Jordan Jordan Cohen and the Bo Sox. And the Redemption. I know, maybe it was like subliminal, Nancy. All right. Congratulations, you are due to receive an autograph relic of... D, Dave, David, DJ, DJ Stewart, DJ Peterson, who I think is a Dodger, actually, if I'm not mistaken. DJ Peterson, oh, is a Mariner on the checklist. You're right. This is 2015. All right, well, there you go. DJ Peterson. Going to Seattle. That'll be for Kenny. I'm thinking of DJ Peters, who's a Dodger. DJ Peterson right now, in July, signed with the Sugarland Skeeters of the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball. All right, 2015. Now we're moving into the world of 2017. We've got a couple of boxes of those. We got Bowman Draft and Bowman's Best from 2017. So let's go Bowman Draft first. Jumbo Edition. So we're looking at three chrome autographs inside. Good luck, everyone. Jimmy's saying, man, typical Mariner prospect that didn't turn out. So in this 2017 Bowman draft, you're chasing Joe Adele, Angels, Keston Hira, that'll be Brewers, Drew Waters, don't know where Drew Waters went to, Royce Lewis, a twin, Jeter Downs, Reds, Helio Ramos, Giants, and a lot more. A pretty good class here. Great prospect hunting and all this Bowman stuff. The next Bowman draft should be coming up in about a month or so, folks. So keep your eye out for this. A lot of incredible value in here. All right. Good luck, everybody. Next one. Those refractors are not numbered, but they will ship. There's Tommy Boyle. Rockies to 250. We got a couple brewers right here. There's Keston Hira. That'll ship, of course. We'll breeze through this paper. Cal Quantrill for the Padres. There's Kevin Maiton, still Brewers edition for that Kevin Maiton. 
He's in the Angels organization now. And there's Peyton Remy. Peyton Remy to 399 for the Cubbies. It's going to go to Aaron Pettit. And there's our first autograph, Luis uh, Campusano for the Friars. That'll be going to Evan and the Padres. There's Mitch Keller to 150. It's blue paper there. Pirates, that'll go to Brian Crouch, last spot mojo. Should be two more autographs in here. This is Taylor Walls. And these refractors, not numbered, by the way, but they will. There it is. Whoa, nice. We got a gold Tristan Lutz for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Evan Levine with the Brewers. Not a not as big of a prospect as Keston Hira, but I think still still up there. Still a first round pick, late first round pick. 32 out of 50. Went to the same high school as Todd Van Poppel. Remember Todd Van Poppel? We'll save one of these Keston here of firsts as well. There's uh, Wilmer Becerra to Haven Smith to 150 for the Diamondbacks. Dennis saying the Astros will win tonight. It's very strange that none of the home teams have won a game. But maybe today will be the day. There's Bubba Thompson. Not Bubba the Pug, but Bubba Thompson, the Rangers. Evan. We got a Francisco Rios to 200. And looks like that is that.
All right. M. Sorkin is asking, so by the random teams, you mean every card that comes up of that specific team go to that assigned person? Yes. Otherwise, it'd get really complicated if we mixed it around all the time. But yeah, so like, I, if you watch the beginning of this video, once I upload it, you saw that I randomized the names, I randomized the teams, and put everyone assigned everyone to a team, and that's their team assignment. So if any A's autographs and stuff that I pull out of here will go to Tony, right? But there's a chance that there may not be any any teams uh, represented either. So that's that's the challenge. That's the risk. All right, now let's go to 2017 Bowman's Best. Let's stay in the world of 2017, which is right over here. What's up, Anthony? There it is, Bowman's Best 2017. And this is where we're chasing Acuna, Bellinger, Judge, Trout, and a lot more in this best. Love the Bowman's Best. Anthony's here, Logan's here too. And Eastwood's right, right. In the instance that there are, let's say there are, there's a dual autograph between the Astros and the Twins right here, then I'd have to randomize it between those two teams. Good luck, everybody. Yes, Anthony, this is the low and break. Did you, were you able to get a spot or are you saying you missed it as in, you, oh, you missed getting a spot? Yeah, the spots in this went really fast, actually. It seemed like it went really fast. All right, good luck, everybody. 2017 Bowman's Best. Nice Vlad Guerrero Jr. right there. And our first autograph is Jordan Montgomery, rookie auto for the Yankees. That's going to go to Darren McKenzie. If I randomize the Bronx Bombers. And we'll randomize these mirror images left and right. And there's Evan White for the Mariners. That will be another M for um for leave? no for Kenny. Check that Kenny. Nice raking rookies, Cody Ballinger. And then two more autographs on this side. More Bellinger, Corey Seager to 99. And there's Jake Berger. Mmm, Burgers. That goes to Roger and the White Sox. There you go. Sean, oh, sorry, Sean. Did I miss a question? Sean saying, I guess that means no. Oh, I did miss your question. Oh, probably not. Unless it shows up on the site. What's up, TJ? What's going on? Got Josh Bell to 250. 
And there's Dansby Swanson for the Braves. Evan with the Bravos. Nice Dansby rookie autograph. Nice Verdugo right there too, going to the Dodgers. All right, now we advance a year forward to 2018. We only have we have two 2018 boxes. We got Bowman Chrome, Bowman Chrome Hobby Edition, and then we've got 2018 Bowman's Best. So we'll do Chrome first. Then we'll do best. So 2018 Bowman Chrome. We're looking at Jordan Alvarez, first Bowman Chrome cards. That's what we're looking for. Good luck, everybody. I like this Bowman break, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of great prospects to chase. EJC, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm on. I'm on Strasburg tonight too. A small, maybe a little small financial interest in in the Nationals. They've got the value there, but uh, Astros have been looking good. I had to, had to take the value. There's Jorge Guzman. Autograph for the Marlins, Ron Shepard. For the Marlins and Ron. There's Jake Lamb, purple, to 250. Leody Tavares to 99. Out of 25, Luis Medina, Orange Shimmer. A lot of parallels in this little mini box here. How much? Sean's asking how much do you think Charge will win by this weekend with the home field advantage over the Packers? I think they'll win by negative 10 points. There's Brewstar, Gritoral, 72 out of 250. That'll be for the Twins. That goes to Levi and the Minnesota Twins. It's Glaber Day to 499. Those refractors are numbered. Nice Keston Hira. That'll ship. And Aaron Noll on the back. Yeah, probably a little bit better than the Raiders. All right. Uh, oh, and let's do Bowman's best. Rodgers is weird on the road. His overall numbers still aren't very... I mean, even though I guess it'll be filled with 80% Packers fans, but Chargers are used to that. They're, they play on the road 16, 17 weeks, 16 weeks a year, so for the last year. So I think that's the... 
I don't think that makes that much of a difference. A little bit, but not not that much. I think they're used to it by now. They've worked on their silent counts. They've worked on all that. Link, what's going on? I know you're trying to throw shade, Sean, but L's an L. Margin of victory doesn't matter. Nice try, though. You think 95% minimum this weekend will be Packers fans? That's that. That's crazy. They should have stayed in San Diego. Next box. Good luck. Oh, we got a redemption. Behind Kyle Tucker is best of 2018 autograph of B. Bry Bryce Bryce Turing Bryce Turing for the Brewers. That'll be for Evan. It's true, Sean. Place that the Angels haven't been to in a little bit. So I don't even know what that feeling is. In spite of Shoei and this guy. What a what a waste of talent. The Angels. There's Trevor Stefan, Yankees. That'll go to Darren McKenzie. They gotta, they, they gotta change up the ownership on that team. That goes to Darren McKenzie and the Yankees. John, what's going on? And there's Fernando Tatis Jr. I've heard of him. Out of 50. That'll be for the Padres. Evan. Nice. And the autograph you see coming up. Well, these are rookie Otanis, by the way. Let's leave some of these up for Charles. Trevor Larnock. Any moves? I was hoping for the Raiders. A lot of moves. Secondary, linebacker, pass rushing, another wide receiver. That's what I was talking I don't know if anything got done. I was watching the television up until the trade deadline, but I don't think anything happened unless there was some, like a late breaking sort of situation. But trades are so rare in the NFL. I mean, actually, there's been a lot more this calendar year than there has been in a while, but nice Carter Kibu for Ron. I think that's not a sport that lends itself well to like these big deadline deal moves. I think there's so much like there's like a, you literally have to learn a new language when you go to a different team, unless you're familiar with the coordinator in the past or something like that, but, but I, I think that's why those deals don't happen as as, as, as much. All right. Um, let's, I think we're in 2019. Yeah, so we're going to do 2019 Bowman Baseball. So that you can expect Wander Franco cards, Joey Bart, Marco Lucianos, and more. And then we'll close out with Sterling, which is right back here. But yeah, today was a bit of a... Yeah, I agree, Sean. Today was a bit of a bust for all that chatter that was happening. I think uh, I think ESPN and... 
and uh, and the NFL Network, where I think we're really kind of what what is the phrase? They were, I think they were sort of eating their own tails. Have you seen the little picture of a snake eating its own tail in Ouroboros? Um, <laughs> I think they were just like, oh, these trades have to happen. You know, they got to move AJ Green. They got to move Jamal Adams. They got to move all these guys. You know, they got to open up that cap space. These playoff teams do have to make a move. Blah 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 blah. And so I think they, they kind of bought into their own speculation and their own hype. You know, and they had these big trade deadline day shows and all that. And then at the end of the day, it was like, womp, womp. <laughs> I think it's just traditionally, the, I, I don't think there is a lot of moves. But yeah, but maybe but overall there have been a lot more trades. I think Jason's right. Maybe in the years, I think in the years in the future, we may see more deadline deals. But remember, yeah, like Fitzpatrick, Minka, Minka Fitzpatrick was moved early. You know, like Laramie Tunsil was moved early. There were a lot of moves, just not at the deadline day. But maybe that's what it's going to be like. I, I feel like maybe more teams are going to try to get players earlier rather than later. But... Uh, I, uh, well, I don't, I'm not familiar with the hockey trading deadline, Noah, so I couldn't really speak to whether the hockey deadline or the baseball deadline, which has better deadlines. That I don't, wouldn't be able to speak to. Maybe Jason could, Jason Jaspi. All right. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. There's out of 299, Blake Rutherford. Am I sold on that Niners offense yet? No. I'm sold on that Niners defense, though. There, there, there are talks about, there are talks about, you know, people still not believing Garoppolo yet. I think that defense definitely puts the offense in an incredible position every time, though. Joe Stanton, uh, you know what? Someone just told me about I me. Mean, I think it was Sean or something like that. Someone told me about Chrome X. And I honestly wasn't too familiar with it, but I did kind of glance at it, so I'll have to take a look at that. So I have no thoughts yet. Maybe tomorrow I'll have thoughts on that. I, I did hear about Tlaib to Miami, but isn't he IR'd, so he's not really... That relevant. 009 out of 290. It's not like he was playing super well for the Rams. There's Anthony Neisner. White Speckle. Or not White, just Speckle maybe? Going to the Cardinals. That'll be for Aaron Pettit. Yeah, there were a bunch of teams who wanted Trent Williams. Yeah, I don't know why. See, that I thought. I don't think the Le'Veon deal that was kind of being buzzed about was going to happen. I think Jamal Adams, they never really wanted to move unless they got a godfather offer, um, which they didn't get. But I definitely thought that I thought definitely thought Washington would move Trent. I mean, but I guess not. thought that was interesting. Yeah, Anthony, I, I did like literally check out, like glance at the page, but I didn't, on StockX, but I, I, I didn't, um, I didn't really look into it too, too deeply, but I, I am very interested on that. I'll have to at least check it out tonight and see what the deal is. Is anyone actually putting, you can put bids on it, right? Anyone actually giving that a shot? What's up, Matt? What's going on? Yeah, 
yeah, the marketplace for cards is a little nuts these days. It's a good thing. I mean, just like any market, there's going to be ups and downs. But... Um, I think... I think Warren Buffett always said that he will always take... He will always take something that a market that looks like this but goes up instead of a market that just goes up straight like that. Which I agree with. So if there is more visibility to the hobby, right, then I think it'd be interesting because then that kind of raises the profile. It'll dip a little bit and then continues to raise the profile again. And that's that's good for us as as a business, that's good for you as collectors. You know, and that's good for the for the hobby and the industry as a whole. There's going to be ups and downs. I think everyone understands that. But it's good to not not go too crazy on the up and not be too down when it's down. Because it's going to happen. You've got to ride it out. Rick T, you you bid on the Chrome X just to see what happens. Let us know how that goes. I want to. I'd, I'd be curious to see what your kind of overall experience was. I think Anthony said he was trying to bid, but the site was messing up. If you have a shipping question, Matt, shoot us an email at jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com. I don't, I don't uh, know anything about the shipping side of things, so all that has to go to our customer service. jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com. There's Estuary Ruiz. That goes to the Friars, that goes to Evan. But I think overall, I guess my, my, my early opinion is it's a good thing, you know? It's a good thing because that raises the profile of the hobby to a lot more people, which I can't complain about. We got Austin Beck. Paper to four ninety nine. And we're saving that Wander Franco and that Vlad Guerrero Jr. and we'll save those for you. Matt G, what's going on? Keep thinking that's Pete Alonso. Jeff may be on a fine season too, but still. And we got Brock Burke, Rays, to one to four ninety nine. That is one thirty seven out of four ninety nine. And that's Bradley with the Rays, who got the Rays as an early bird spot. There's Kevin Pillar, Blue Jays edition to 250. This was the guy I was thinking about earlier. There he is, DJ Peters of the Dodgers, not DJ Peterson. Uh, I'm not sure, Anthony. Check, take a look at the site for me and see what's close to selling out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I've been, I've been in the middle of this, so I have no idea. I think 14 orders have been coming in, so... I guess we'll 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 check those. We'll check those once I'm done with the break. Porterhouse steak, what's going on? <laughs> Rick saying if I win a box on StockX, I'll probably get a get a Tebow, but it's slab, so a nice coaster. You know, 
Tebow actually still resells decently on a secondary market. A lot of a uh, lot of Tebow fans, I think, out there in the world, in general, and. I don't know. I mean, if, if he makes it, if he gets called up to the Mets. Not sure if that's ever going to happen, but if he gets called up, hey. It'd be great for all those Tebos. Uh, we just we just ran out, but I think I think Delise is getting more. All right, so in this final box, 2019 Bowman Sterling baseball, looking for Super Fractors, Alonzos, Pete Alonzos, Vlad Juniors, and more. Good luck, everybody. We're still tied at one. We're trying to determine through this mixer who is going to win tonight's game, but there's been one Nationals autograph and one Astros autograph. I guess the game's going to end 1-1. D. Porter says Russell Wilson has a better chance of getting called up with the Yankees than Tebow with the Mets. I don't know if there was a basketball player that went to baseball. Except for Jordan, yeah. There's Travis Swaggerty to 199 for the Pirates. And we got Luke and Baker, orange autograph, and, and a Vlad Guerrero Jr. and Dustin May back there. Nice. Cardinals, that'll be for Aaron Pettit. There's Vlad Guerrero. Nick says that means Nationals, because that's the Nationals autograph, and here's the Astros autograph. Nick says that means the Nats will win one more game, the Astros will win game seven. Bill says, I don't understand why the Mets don't call him up for a novelty. I don't know. I think the Mets take themselves a lot more seriously than that. I think that knocks out a, a roster spot for a player that's actually better than Tim Tebow. There's Jackson Kowar. So I think that would kind of piss players off. <laughs> Imagine if you were on a 25-man roster... If you were the 25th man that got booted from that roster, or the 40-man roster even, he'd have to be put on the 40-man. So imagine if you were the 40th man on that roster, and you got booted by Tim Tebow, and you know you're better than him. You've been playing baseball your entire life. There's Jackson Coar for the Royals. Stacy with that one. There's Gavin Lux. And there's Nick Schnell for the Rays. And that will be for... Uh, Bradley in his early bird spot. All right, and Anthony is like, they don't need to sell uh, tickets; it's packed every day. <laughs> NC says seven three Astros. By the way, Noah says eight seven Nationals in eleven innings. Well, I wonder what the what the prop line is on uh, on extra innings. Kyler was NFL and MLB. NFL, the football season, the baseball seasons are usually two different seasons. So those tend to cross over a little bit better, I think. Don't they? There's Joey Bart. Nice, big Giants prod. That's like the Buster Posey replacement there. That's what they're hoping. There's Bryce Wilson. Although basketball and baseball is different seasons too. There's Bryce Wilson for the Braves. That goes to Evan. Camp says Nats will win 7-6 with a go-ahead two-run shot by Juan Soto. Uh, 
All right, and the last one, Death Rage. One of my favorite last names in the hobby. Ryan Baruki and Connor Scott Amarlin. There's Freddie Freeman to 99, Esteban Floriel, and Jordan Alvarez. Well, there you go, folks. One Astros autograph, one Nationals autograph. Looks like the game will be 1-1. Or, if you believe Nick's theory, one more win for the Nats. Or, and one more win for the Astros. It's game six, game seven. But nothing decided for sure score-wise in this. This represents all the all the uh, mirror image cards. Left, right on the randomizer. I don't think there are any other products that had those kind of cards in there, but we'll do our due diligence for these. And there were no other randomizers, right? No, no other dual autos or anything like that. So let's go to random.org. Let's go left, let's go right, and let's randomize that. Four and a four, eight the hard way, name on top, or side on top gets it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, it'll go to the left side. So I think there are a few of these cards, left side teams will get those. That was a really great eight box Bowman baseball mixer, folks. A lot of great prospect hunting in there. Um, a lot of autographs, ton of hits, so maybe we'll see another one of those or something like that very soon. So keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.